Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer here with another episode of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. What brings you to the market? I'm here to buy food. Don't remember Uthgard looking that good. <laughs> oh, shut up, Nazim. Nobody wants to hear your blatheringness. Whiteburn may not be the most impressive city in Skyrim, but it'll always be the strongest and greatest. All right, so after all the lack of shenanigans in the last episode, which I do apologize for, we are going to head to the Voltime Towers because we need to go kill a giant at Cradle Crush Rock. Just on the very edge of East March. Let's do it. I wonder if anybody remembers an anime called Three by Three Eyes. Well, it looks like it leaked out to the Skyrim universe with the trolls. <clears throat> okay, well, it's back to up and running again. Now, with the cutting room floor, mod by Arthmore did a really good job bringing back a lot of the stuff that got cut. One of the things that got cut was this exchange here. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. How about you let me through and I don't kill you? You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. Fortunately, the guards were always able to fend them off. Well, it looks like Grassland has taken over the road away a little bit. Ah, there we go. But yeah, you see that uh, mammoth symbol? That's the giant camp we're going to. As a mage, it's ne you can never have too much more tap in that one. What the hell is this? Well, that explains why I got pushed. <laughs> Lids. Yeah, I don't remember this rock feature being here before, and... Ah, roots of a tree. A very large tree. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's pretty cool, actually. And that's one of the roots. Okay, actually, we should be spelling up first, because, yeah. Okay, we start with the usual muffle. Ebony flesh. And courage for lids. And we wait to bring out the conjure. Until we need to. And if y'all remember right now, our favorite conjure is the Storm Atronach. Unless I need a tank, in which case it will be a Dramora Lord. But with Lydia at our side, we don't normally need a tank. Okay, there's Cradle Crush over here, but I want to tag a cave that's nearby first, because it's nearby. Yes, Goaty. Through the 
cattails and that's a bunny well we're not finding out we're just here to tag the damn thing uh, okay I thought ooh gold okay Thanks to follower dialogue expansion, Lydia has become fascinating herself. Hmm? Brook bass, eh. Hello. <laughs> Silly goats. Ah, more silly goats. Hello, silly goats. And a grizzo. Aw, dead goaties. Okay, there's the bear. He's a little out of the way for us. We don't have to worry about him. Looks like these goats had other things to worry about and failed to do so. Well, it's quiet, so might as well mine some iron. We'll need to respell up after this. Although a, a bit of an addendum on the Dramora for a tank, I can also bring in the Pride of Herstang. It's a big old bear. Lydia, oh, up there you are, Lids. All right. Okay, over there. Okay, not as close by as I thought, and that's okay. And here we are at Cradle Crush Rock. And there's the giant, but no big fuzzies. So this shouldn't be very difficult as long as Liz plays her part. But... Lids is going to stay close. Hey, Paralyze works! <laughs> oh my god, this is pathetically easy. Wow, that was pathetically easy. Hilariously easy, too. Although now for this alchemist. Human heart, nerd room, hey, noisy plant. And I got a point and block from lids. I wonder if Paralyze is still in effect and that's why I can't loot him. Oh well. Aw, well we know where, uh... Okay, little a uh, bit of lore here, real quick. If you ever uh, run across a farmer who's got a cow painted, who's looking to be delivering a cow to some giants, yeah, this is the place they uh, end up going to. That's not him, though. That's the giant in question. And unfortunately, this is the cow in question. Sorry, baby. I always enjoy a good adventure or two. Eh, you know what? Not the end of the world if we can't loot anything from him. But seriously, all that we got here is some... Eh, okay, charred skeever hide. That's fine. 
Ah, there's the chest. Mammoth tusk, cowhide, handful of lockpicks, some septums, and a steel war hammer. Oh, whoop the friggin' do. And looks like we got a divine shrine here, so we'll go mark that real quick. At this body of water. Fascinating. Is that Mara? No, that's Talos. I need to see something real quick. Where is it? Pilgrim's Path. There it is. This is not it. Okay. I want to see something real quick. We're going to go back to Valheim Towers real quick. I saw a shrine marker. I want to see if we can get to it. <clears throat> I'm still looking for the Shrine to Xerxes, because that's who I worship in this one. If you're wondering how you can worship somebody outside of the uh, Nine Divines, yeah, I know what I said. Um, and yes, I'm not a Stormcloak. Deal with it. Uh, there is a mod called Winter Sun Religions. It's one of my favorites in the entire game. And... Oh! Bandits raid villages and murder travelers for nothing but a pouch of gold. Huh. What? Oh, hello! Pet the puppy. Yes, pet the little puppy. Hi, baby. <laughs> it's too bad you can't take him with you. Okay, we're gonna respell up because we're gonna go terrorize some more giants real quick. Entrance way to Golden Rock. Is up this way. I don't think this is quite right, but mm. oh. sorry, sweetheart. Your boy, Big Dave, is an idiot. This is the path. So this is Golden Rock, and we're going to... Okay, she's right behind me. And he's just going to run back to me. Fine. Pair of giants here. As long as you don't get too close, I'll tend to leave you alone. Okay, it's not a golden rock. There's a grizzo down there.
Alt altar to Rajin. Discovered. I don't know who Rajin is. Filter of strength is nice, though. Rajin does not accept those who are not of Khajiit blood. All right, let's see what the blessing of Rajin does. Fortifies lock picking. No oh, whoopee. <laughs> Well, that didn't really help much, but good to know that it's there. All right, let's go back to Palace of the Kings and let's turn in our bounty. <laughs> the dead of midnight. The hell are you? All right, anyway. We may have to go wake up the steward, but it is what it is. He's a true lord. He'll come around. And what would you I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. The giant cradle, croc ro cradle crush rock is dead. Blech. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. A hundred gold. Travel safely. Whoop did he do? Gathering of the guards, I guess. He knows that. They all know that. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. All right, so. Now we need to get a new bounty. <laughs> okay, so let's check Candle Hearth Hall. We're looking for bounties. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here. My friend died. Things won't be the same without her. Okay. So, not here. So, we'll go check the Grey Quarter real quick. If Candle Hearth Hall doesn't have anything, maybe the new Nisus Corner Club does. Sadri's Corner Club is here. And what might you need? Let me know if you want. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Things have been a lot yep. worse around here since Ulfric took over. Looking for work. Got any leads? Yeah, take a look at this. Some of the Yarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. The dragon! Bone strewn crest. There's a note here. We cross into Skyrim under the cover of Ashfall. As far as anyone knows, we're shipping refugees, just one in a long line of vagrant caravans, escaping the wrath of the Red Mountain. 
Normally a story like that would be enough to get us through, but not this time. Now, I've been a caravan guard for some time, and even I've seen some pretty extensive security measures. Locks, chains, the works. One client even had a conjurer summon a Deidre to guard his wagon. But even compared to that, this seems excessive. For one, everything has a code name. The cargo, the guards, even the horse. As far as the caravan, as for the caravans, to keep it familiar, we've each been given a name from one of the great houses. Of course, some of the guards didn't like that part. One of the new bloods said he'd rather bend the knee to a guar than wear the name of House Dress. But Captain Enedos brought him, brought him in line with the point of his blade, and the rest followed. You'd think the Red Year would unite us, but it seems like there's old scars that haven't healed, and old so scores that haven't been settled. But at the end of the day, none of that matters. The job's a job. Like the captain said, at least they didn't name us after the boots. We've also got several decoy caravans heading out through Skyrim all the way to some undisclosed location in Hammerfell. But since that's not enough, each caravan will meet up at preset checkpoints and swap their items out. That means different decoys traveling different paths every step of the way. With the refugee garb, they say we should blend right in. And on the off chance we don't, we've got runners set to flee to the next village, hidden compartments, anything you can think of. Still, if you ask me, all of it seems like a waste of time. I'm no scholar, but those two bits of cargo don't look like anything special. Just a fancy way to bash some poor Flaw's skull in. With all the chaos bleeding out of Vardenfell, we've made it to Windhelm without so much as a paper cut. Come morning, we're heading out west along the river toward Nightgate Inn. If all goes well, we'll reach the mountains pass by midday. Still, we get there sooner if not for all the stops. But it'll never be its most prosperous as long as White Run remains. All right, first we'll look at uh, Bonestrom Crest. That is... Eh. Solitude, blech. Not wanting to go there. Okay, trying to figure out where we're going next here. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so that's got everything marked that we can do in and around East March. And it would probably help if we got the hell out of here first before we figure this out. All right. Hmm. Yeah, trying to figure out where to go. Not as easy as one would think, huh? I wonder. Let me see something real quick. Oh shit, we are close enough to it. Okay. So, figured out what we're doing for now. Just gotta find it here. Well, we're gonna keep that tagged anyway, because you never know when we're gonna run into it. There it is. Okay, hey, see that that we're heading towards? That should be Mazolft, a Dwarmer Ruin, and that should be one of the spots we need to get to. For a piece of Ethereum. And when we do the uh, <coughs> College of Winter Hole quest line, we'll need to be back here. where we need to be here is, yeah, is actually in here. I didn't realize we were that close. Would have done this beforehand, but you know what? It's all good. Y'all remember Katria, right? Okay, so as you can see, there are two ways. We can go through with the expert lock, or we can go around with the apprentice lock. Believe you me, it is infinitely easier to go around. Okay, I forgot how much junk is in here. Right you. So, for... Eh, fuck it. Should be pretty quiet in here. I don't anticipate any attacks.
And it's not like survival mode in Fallout 4 where you take damage if you're overweighed. Heck, we're not even in survival mode at all, so... We just move a bit slowly. Or you just do what I did and open all three. Dwarf battle axe of freezing, very nice. Thanks again for all your help. That's what, your third? All right, only one left to go. I'll meet you there. The last one's going to be a little bit more difficult, as we're going to have to go through the entirety of Rabathar to get to it. Okay, so you're probably all wondering, okay, so how the hell are you going to get out of here? Well, the answer is easy. We're going to go back to one of the chests over here. We're going to dump in the extra. We're going to head out. I never understood why anyone would be interested in the Dwemer. It hurts my head just to make sense of their way of life. Aw, poor lids. Okay, we're going to unload some of this crap. Okay, and now we're going to head out. We're going to fast travel back to... Actually, we're going to tag Mazult. We're going to fast travel back to it so we get our unicorn. And then we're going to go in and get everything. Because remember, you can fast travel while you're overburdened. If, you are, if you're on your mount. And there's my baby right there. And Lids is hopping on hers. Gotta love NFF. The follower framework that is just so cushy and so nice. All right. So we're going to head back to Windhelm. And we're going to do the appropriate selling and dismantling and blah, 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 and yakety schmackety and take care of that real quick, and then we'll move on again. And looking at where we're at with Mazolft, we still got a few things tagged, whoops. Okay, so still nothing all that close. Hmm. If you 
go as the crow flies. The shrine to Talos near Cradle Crush. Mm, yeah, but I don't know if that's going to work. You know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to untag all of these. There is something else we can do. But not right now, because as I said, we got to... What? Oh, pfft. Alright, so we're going to Ongol Smithy first. With its imposing statue, Windhelm will never have the same sense of being as white. <laughs> Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to smelt all that dwarven crap we've got. You know, since we're weighed down, might as well just grab everything from lids. I'm at your command. I do have a con an empty common to give her. That should be it, yeah. I think a lot of what we're carrying is just unsmelted crap. Unload everything, we are back underway again. May the gods watch over your hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. And I'm pretty sure we've dismantled it, but. Well, since we're here, yeah, take a look. All right, and we will now sell off that battle axe. If you meet anyone in your travels, steal. Send them my way. I don't haggle. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures.
Well, that clears out a lot of what else we had. Okay, could use a cooking pot and... Yeah, I guess I can sell this ring of stamina. That's never gonna be used. Okay. Alright, we'll pop into the white file and we'll use the alchemy station for the storage capabilities. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. Interested in my potions and ingredients. Right. Any potions I am never going to need. I've taken a holding on to a few things just in case. You know, you know like the stamina. You know, if we start going into a little more combat, you know, melee combat intensive, or heck, even archer intensive. And I don't mean spectral arrow. Okay, so yeah, nothing I need to sell. Why are you still standing up? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get there. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. Is all this on the dining? Okay. We'll go to Candle Hearth Hall. We can use the cooking pot there. I put everything up. That's not Candle Hearth Hall. Actually, I have an even better idea. We we'll use Calixto's house. <laughs> Nobody else is. There's his cooking pot. And that lightens the load considerably. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get out of here. And we're going to go back. To. We're going to go back to Darkshade. Now we're going to go back to Cradle Crush Rock and we're going to follow the road along. We're going to come up across a uh, Nordic ruin and that's where we're going to end up going. Okay. All right, well, first things first. Time to spell up again. Oh, we got another little puppy. And the puppy has been spelled up. <laughs> awesome. Hi, buddy. Oh, aren't you adorable? Okay, we got a Grizzo over there. Now, uh, we need to head west. Okay, but yeah, you see that Dwarven Ruin over there? That's where we're going to be heading. And if I can find the goddamn road. Okay. It would actually make more sense to actually go through the giant camp. I always enjoy a good adventure or two. Oof. Now you know why it's called Cradle Crush Rock.
Okay. Just like before, we go... Across the water. Not gonna lie, I haven't been to Cradle Crush Rock very many times. Nor have I used it very often as a waypoint. Oh no, that's not where I wanted to go. I think this actually is the path. Oh no. Oh no, now we found it. Okay. I remember the goodies. Hold on a sec. Let me get my. Oh. It's always good to get your bearings. Okay, we got our bearings. mountain flowers here. Look out, little bunny. Hillgrun's tomb. Yeah, this is where we're gonna be. And before we end this video, I want to show you a little something. Give me a little trick. If you go up up to the top here, a little bit of parkour gets you this chest. Expert level lock, but that shouldn't be much of a problem sure, due to the sheer amount of lock picks we have. Whoop, wrong way. There we go. Eight dragon bow and arrows, a glass shield, an empty lesser, potion of stamina, and four freaking septums. And. More septums. I've got your back. I understand. Let's get going then. How can I serve you, my Thane? You can adjust that if you have multiple followers and if you're hearing too much or not enough. 
Anyway, let's give Liz the lesser. And while we're at it, let's check on her weapon charge. Ah, eh, still good for now. Lead on. Okay. And there is the man we're going to be talking to on the next episode. I think we're going to leave it here. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in. And to help this channel grow, this has been Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer. This is Skyrim Anniversary Edition. I'll see you all next time.